Hi guys, I thought I would film my counter pressure can filler project. Uh, still in its concept stage, but um, I've got near enough all the bits I need to make a working model. Um, first of all, I've got a tap cooler counter pressure bottle filler, which I've had for some time. I've used the Pegas ones before, but um, I prefer this one because it will fit directly onto the end of the tap and it's all stainless steel and you can uh, sterilize it quite easily. Anyway, Tap Cooler do make a can counter pressure filler. Unfortunately, they wouldn't sell me one direct. Um, and they told me to go to my local homebrew store, which they said would supply them, but my local homebrew store still hasn't got them in stock. So um, I thought I'll make my own. Now, as you can see, the main body of the uh, piece of equipment is an old drill press. This one's a Black & Decker drill press. Um, it's made out of aluminium, so it's nice and light, but it's quite sturdy. Um, next up is the operation. So when this thing is all kitted up and all bolted together, which is not at the moment, the idea is just put your beer in through that, put your gas in through here, let the gas off, Fill the can with gas, let that off a little bit more so the gas comes back up again, fill the beer, etc. You get the general idea of it. Um, the bits that I've made so far, um, I'll just take this apart just to make it a little bit easier to see. Obviously, you've got your can, you've got the 3D printed can holder, which sits in there, and it's got a hole in them, so I will eventually bolt it to that. Um, the actual um, top is a piece of acrylic, which has still got the protection on both sides, with a 12 mil hole through the centre. I mean, this is just a work in progress at the moment. Eventually, the telescopic rod will go up in there at a certain height so I can get the can in and out. There's the tap cooler itself, as I said, nice and easy operation. Gas in one side, you press that down, fills the can with gas, release that, it releases some of the pressure out, put it back on again, put the beer on, can fills with beer. If there's too much pressure in the can, you just release this a little bit and it releases the pressure and the can will eventually fill up with beer. Um, silicon washer, which fits to the underside of that, so that when the can is on, it should provide quite a nice seal on that. And then the operation, when this thing is mounted in, you just push it down like that, and you will hold it by hand while you're doing the actual um, mechanics of filling it with beer. And then it will just release, this will flip back up again, and it should be fairly easy to take the can out, have the cannula by the side of the thing, and then just um, put the um, top on there, in the can and as you know it's still the can. Um, did also make this one uh, which is for the 330ml cans albeit it might have to be a little bit bigger but the beauty of this system is that this is fully adjustable so you can unscrew the locking nut and tighten it up so you can have really whatever size can will fit within that. Bearing in mind you have to have got to get a telescopic rod in there somehow. Um, so that's basically it. As I said, it is work in progress at the moment. Um, there, are, there are two holes in there, which I've got to mount this acrylic plate onto. Now, I've only ordered this acrylic plate in a 70 mil disc, and that's gonna be quite tight with the mounting holes. Um, so I'm probably going to have to order another um, acrylic disc um, so I can actually bolt down and through. What I hope to get is um, two holes, blind holes down there, put a couple of um, um, bolts into them, just sticking up, and it would be bolted on this side. So it's nice and easy to remove. Um, that's about it um, for the actual work in progress. I hope get this finished and then actually try it out in anger. Um, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't work, um, but as I said to you in previous videos, um, it might just be as easy 
just to get the uh, beer gun out by Blickman or one of the knock Chinese knockoffs and to fill a can that way and then just put it into the cannula. Um, I don't know which is easier. Um, I expect the Blickman beer gun will be, but if you've got a sort of a pressurized um, beer in a um, corny keg or a stanky keg, um, this may well do the job. Uh, just one other thing I was going to mention about the tap cooler, when you do buy one, it does come with this attachment, which is obviously for bottles. Um, what I did make as well, well, I didn't, well, didn't make, but another bung and put a hole through that, so then that will do plastic pet bottles as well. Um, they're a bit of a pain to use with that, but um, with that, it's nice and easy. So, um, to all critics of tap cooler guys, they do make one, as I said, um, which is based on a spreader um, clamp, which is um, just clamp it up and it holds the can nice and steady like that, and it's got its own little purpose made top to it. But um, I thought it might be rather fun to make my own. And at the moment, um, the actual clamp I got off eBay, um, I should say stand off eBay, that was about 15 quid. Um, the discs were about two or three quid, pre-cut and pre-drilled. Um, so that takes the, the uh, pain out of having to drill acrylic. So what I do need is the bolt, but it's all together. Now I probably have to stiffen up this or make a, uh, or put a Jubilee clip or something underneath just to hold it steady. And that's basically it. And 3D printed parts, well, I mean, as cheap as the filament is. So um, as you can see, that fits in there quite nicely. Uh, hold the can quite steady. And as I said, it's got a hole in the bottom and this thing comes with its own hole there. So it's quite easy to bolt that onto the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but it's quite easy to bolt that on there. Hopefully that should work. The only thing is I wanna put some sort of a tap onto this when it's just a press tap or a um, just a turn quarter turn tap so I can control the flow of beer so that when I take the can out I can switch the beer off as such so it should be nice and easy to operate uh, fingers crossed and if I do get this thing up and running I'll make another uh, video part two with me actually using the thing so until then I'll see you next time cheers